the American Medical Association, also known as the former IBM building. Now look, giant black box. This was designed by the famous German architect Ludwig Mies van Rijn. How many of you guys know that name? He revolutionized architecture with that style. His philosophy was less is more. He is more interested in the people and how they occupy a building's space. He had many students of architecture, lots of which didn't share this philosophy. And it's funny, because the next two buildings to your right were actually designed by his student. Bertrand Goldberg from Marina City Towers. Fairly obvious, he completely rejected his teacher's philosophy, right? Came up with his own. It sounds passive aggressive, because it is. These buildings went up, him and his teacher never spoke again. Now his philosophy goes like this. There are no right angles in nature, so there shouldn't be right angles in architecture. So these buildings sort of through the public for a curve. I'm gonna warn all of you now, if you hate puns, we're going to hate the next 85 minutes of our tour. Because I'm full of them. He designs those two buildings with two concrete cores that stretch to the top. He wrapped in 896 apartments. If you look to your right, you're gonna see RPM Seafood, where none of the tables are six feet apart. You give him a wave. Enjoy your meal. <laughs> to your right, you're going to see the Reed Murdoch Center, built in 1919 by George Nimmons. It's one of the last remaining warehouse buildings on the main branch of the river. You look at the first window there, you'll see that guy's been there since 1919. <laughs> this building's also very haunted. It is. Uh, I want you guys to look at this building as a whole. From this center clock tower, I'm going to ask all of you to count six bays going to the right, only five bays going to the left. It's not symmetrical. That might bother some of you. It's because when they expanded the LaSalle Street Bridge right here, they cut one whole bay off the end of the building to make room for the bridge. And then camouflaged it to look like the opposite end. So unless I pointed that out, you may or may not have even noticed it anything. You're welcome. To your right, you're going to see 300 North LaSalle Street, designed by Picard and Chilton in 2009. Now y'all, this building, this is platinum certified in LEED. This stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. It's li That's like the Oscars of architectural engineering, because that right there, folks, that building's almost entirely made out of recyclable material. To become LEED certified, though, is enormously difficult. It is a long and arduous process. It's not just the materials there, but it is the amount of energy spent to bring the materials to this site and a variety more. Now, no, it's okay, I like the attention. To your right, you're going to see the Merchandise Mart, designed in 1921 through 1933 by Graham Anderson Probes and White. Now y'all, this building, seriously, was the largest concrete building in the country until the Pentagon was built. No joke, this building used to have its own zip code. 4.25 million square feet of space. It was designed to accommodate nearly uh, 14 warehouses for the Marshall Field and Company. And Marshall Field had a lot of trouble holding on to this building because of the Great Depression. He ended up selling this building in 1945. Sold it for nearly $13 million in back taxes. Sold that to the Kennedy family. And then the Kennedy family sold the building again in 1998 for $575 million. <laughs> Put that, dear Doge, to the moon. There's two types of people on this boat, people that are on TikTok and those that are 